all business. What they saying though? What they hear bro? What they saying though? I'm not in the spirit. I've been trying to smile, enhance my appearance. See, I done caught feelings. Now they look at me funny, cause I done feel in them. Just keeping it player. I be talking to God, cause he know I'm a sinner. My gal a winner, but I'm cold as ice. My heart in December. See, I can remember losing my temper. It tampered my mental, then was sentimental. Not accepting whatever that I chose to send her. We fight over dinner. Can't play me, little baby, I'm not a beginner. So I choose to hinder or delay when I stay whenever I'm with her. What they saying though? What they hear bro? What they saying You are though? beautiful. You are enough. Uh, now she calling back. She was mad for a minute but had to relax. Meet me in the back. We can smoke a little bit, then flash to the sack. I'm stuck on them racks. She give me that passion, make me react. Know this for a fact. I'ma get what I want, then fade to the black. She keep coming back. Be leaving some shit when I boot our fast. I cut her no slack. If we break, that'd be great. I can't deal with them pads. So don't be dramatic, changing your tactics. You I stay out your path. And, you and when I log in, just don't make me the subject of who you gon' bash. Hey, Jess. Please call me Jessica, Tony. Sorry. Hey, Jessica. Hi, Tony. Got some mail for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what is it, Tony? Just admiring your beauty. Coming off a little creepy right now, Tony. Please stop. Besides, I've already told you, I don't do workplace romances. I know, I know, but hopefully you'll change your mind one day. I mean, what a wonderful Christmas gift that'll be for me. Christmas gift? <laughs> well, yeah, silly Willie. <laughs> you are the perfect gift for me. Um, I don't believe in Christmas. So me being a Christmas gift or giving anybody a gift for that matter is something that'll just never be. You don't believe in magic? Nope. Seeing as I wish you'd disappear and here you are standing in front of me. <laughs> you're so cute when you're joking around. <laughs> you, you know, Tony, sometimes you just gotta push those wishes on through. Have a good day. Thank you. I'll be glad when this holiday is over. Come in. Girl. Did you see fine-ass Mike? I saw Mike. Not fine-ass Mike. <laughs> but baby, that's a fine man right there. Mm. Mm, I think he's gay. <gasps> what? Say it ain't so. I think he likes me. Now, why would you say such a thing like that? What? Well, is nothing wrong with it. I'm, I'm just saying for I don't, I don't think he wants what you got. something else you like? Oh, no, I'm good, I'm good. I mean, you, you're you still hitting a 360. I'm Look in. at the man. You want I'm, I'm done, I'm out. Have a good night, Mike. Trust me, he wants what we want. He likes what we like. Why can't I see it? Maybe because you're blinded by all that fineness. Man, damn. You sure you're not getting him confused with Tony? Girl, that man wouldn't know how to be gay. <laughs> no, he is in love with you. No, he's not. I don't know. I guess you're blinded by all that nerdiness. I'm not about to do this with you today. What's on the schedule? Um, you got a nine o'clock with Mrs. Jefferson. Wait, is she here? Yeah, I think so. Well, are you gonna go get her? 
Oh, you know what? That is my job. All right. Uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> I miss my sister. Men, Miss Preston, this is Mrs. Jefferson. Mrs. Jefferson, hello. Hey, please have a seat. Thank you. So, how can I help you? Well, Miss Preston, my husband died about two years ago, and he was the provider for the family. He had a little money saved up, but it's all gone now and I need a little help remodeling the house. How much do you need? Oh, about 50,000 would be okay. 50,000, okay. Um, well, Ms. Jefferson, I ran your application and your credit and assets. I honestly, I just have one question. How can you hmm. ensure that you're gonna be able to pay us back? I get a social security check and I, I can get a job at Montgomery Wards. Montgomery Wards? Yes, I can be a greeter or something. I can't believe I'm having this conversation. Excuse me? You honestly think we're about to give you $50,000 with no way to pay it back? Well, it is the holidays, and I thought you'd be a little <laughs> generous. Okay. You thought I'd be generous? Because it's the holidays? <laughs> See, that's what's wrong with you black people. You want something for nothing when there are hardworking people out here slaving and preparing for situations like this. And you got your old self in my office asking for $50,000. Do I look like a fat white man with a beard saying ho, ho, ho? Your loan, Miss Jefferson, is denied. Little girl, who do you think you talking to? I knock all this stuff off this desk. Good day, Miss Jefferson. Oh, and I hope Santa brings you everything on your little list. Let me tell you something. Santa Claus is a figment of your imagination. And have you ever seen a fat white man sliding down a chimney? I don't think so. Santa is whoever brings you joy. And apparently, you don't have either. Looking like an old auntie in that ugly dress. The nerve of you. Oh, my God. Uh, no, she didn't. Yes, I did. She don't know what she's talking about. See now, little wench. What's that about? Girl, come in here asking for $50,000 with no way to pay it back. That's the nerve of people. Exactly. Talking about the holiday spirit and... Well, you do have to give some loans. Bitch, whose side are you on? Yours, of course, but hell, I need a job and I'm sure you do too. You know how these banks operate. We give money to get money. Hell, it ain't ours anyway. You know what? Yeah. What? I'm just saying, it wouldn't hurt for you to give a little. There's got to be a little bit of holiday spirit in you. You know what I'm about to give you? What? A black eye if you don't get out of my office. Uh, okay, since you want to be a Scrooge, I'm going to leave. But don't forget, we're meeting at the Chocolate Lounge tonight for Tammy's party. Ooh, I forgot. Totally forgot. Jess, you didn't. Okay, you're right. I didn't forget. I just don't want to go. Jessica, no, you promised. You're going. Okay, okay. Meet us at nine. Nine, got it. Oh, and um, please put on a more modern day skirt, Auntie Jessica. What's <laughs> wrong with my dress? I thought it was cute. It's very chic. I don't know what they're talking about. Tony, why are you calling me? Hey, I just thought you should know that somebody left you a package today. That really could have waited till tomorrow, Tony. Yeah, well, I know, but I just wanted to hear your voice. You're being weird again. Oh, 
sorry. Oh, okay, I gotta go, okay? Bye. Okay, well, hey, you be careful, okay? Just love her. <laughs> Them niggas know you all business. Girl, you look so beautiful tonight. And I am so proud of you. <laughs> and also make your partner. I see you. Yes, baby. You're making me blush. <laughs> Young gifted and black. Real black. <laughs> hey, hey, you look cute. You look cute. You look cute. Oh, thank you. Giving you. money vibes. Come on, Leopard. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> ladies. What can I get y'all to drink? Give her a shot of Hennessy. Uh, celebrate anything special? Yes. I would like to give a toast to one of my best friends in the whole wide world for making partner. Girl, we are extremely proud of you. So proud. Thank you, girls. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Oh, cheers, my cheers. Uh. Oh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Now let's turn up, bitches. All right. Oh shit, see, this my jam right here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go find me a Santa cop and get ho, ho, ho tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just nasty. Uh, bartender, can we get another one? Another Henny? Damn, you ain't gotta be so loud. You must be trying to have some forgettable sex tonight. How about you stop worrying what I'm trying to do and get my damn drink? <laughs> yes, ma'am, another Henny coming right up. Damn, girl, you had a long day. You was there. Yeah, you're right. Oh. Slim pickers, huh? Just. You see them two men over there? Over where? To your right. Really? Girl, your smooth part has been moved on. My bad, my bad. But yeah, I see you. What's up? Oh, shit. They're coming over. What's up? No. Mm -hmm. Hey lady, how y'all doing tonight? We're doing just fine. I'm Jamal. It's my friend Larry. Hello. Hello, Jamal. Hello, Larry. I'm Veronica, and this is Jessica. Hey, Jessica. So, Veronica, you wanna dance? Sure. These are pretty good. Yep. You wanna go dance? Oh, nah. <laughs> I, I don't dance. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, really? <clears throat> Here's your third glass of Henny. Miss Forgettable. Really? Miss Untippable? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just trying to have a little fun. I was just on you. <laughs> oh, long oh, day, honey. Very. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you wanna come home with me? <laughs> what? Do you want to come home with me and have some forgettable stuff? <laughs> Trust me, it will be unforgettable. Oh shit! Is that a promise? Holiday season. The holiday season has nothing to do with what happened last night. Just two consenting adults having a good time. Mm. So you're not a holiday person, huh? No, no real reason to be. <laughs> I understand. Growing up, we didn't have much. My mama couldn't afford a lot, so 
We didn't have the best Christmases. I really don't get up for it either. You know what I mean? Wait, did you just... Yeah, my stomach hurt. Uh, you know what? You should go because, mm, ooh. Yeah, I, mm. I get it. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll call you. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. You must have known I was taking breakfast today. Mm -hmm. No, I already knew. I got you covered. Thank you. Mm -hmm. God, these are so big donuts. Mm -hmm. What? So you're not going to tell me what you and old boy did when y'all left the club? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. So we're just going to play dumb, right? right? I don't know. Mmm. Girl. These are good donuts. Where did you get these? Mm. Bitch, don't change the subject. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, but did you see Mrs. Jefferson in there? Who? Mrs. Jefferson from yesterday. Girl, I don't know who you're talking about, but why do you keep avoiding my question? Okay. Okay. We went home together. Mm -hmm. Happy? Mm-mm. You hoe. Men do it all the time, but when a woman does it, we're a hoe. Besides, whoever said we slept together? So you left with a random guy and went home with him, and y'all didn't sleep together? Whoever said I went home with him. Okay, so what happened? Maybe he went home with me. Hmm? Thought about that? No, 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 now you know. We don't let them see where we live. Oh, Lord. V. V, look at me. He blew my back out. Girl, it was so good. Oh, it was worth it. Ah, girl, you are so nasty. I can't believe you. What? <laughs> Who says an educated woman doesn't have needs? Mm-hmm. Uh, so you out here just giving out Christmas coochie? Christmas? Bro. Christmas coochie? The things that come out of your mouth. Hey. I, mm -mm. hey, man. I'm just stating facts. Anywho. The dude started getting all sentimental, talking about his childhood and Christmas, and V, I just... No, no, you didn't. I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> so, you just gonna fart on the man? I mean, I didn't... Okay, yeah, I, I, I farted on him, I did. Oh. But I just needed to get him out of my house. <laughs> I didn't... You are the only person that I know that has gas on standby. Whatever. A girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. And right now, this girl has to go tinkle. Stay tuned. There's more. Ooh, more tea. Okay, girl, hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. Mail delivery. Just put it on a desk. All right. Go right there. Wine? Who said her this? Uh, some old lady dropped it off yesterday. Oh, snap, baby. I need to pop this bottle off right now. You will not. That's for Jessica. OK, Tony. I see you up here being her guard, dog. Well, somebody's got to be. Tony, hmm? you like Jessie? No, it's Jessica. Her name is Jessica. <laughs> oh, shit. So you up here guarding and putting people in check. Yeah, I really like her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do you want to do about it? I don't know, Veronica. I, I don't think I'm her type. I mean, I've tried everything. Okay, like what? I bought her flowers, a Christmas card. I called and check up on her. I mean, what more can I do? Can I be honest? Yes, please. Nah, never mind. No, no, please, please, come on. You know what, Tony? Hey, man, stay right there. Hold on, I'm going to take a picture of you. Oh all right, all right. Give me your best face, Tony. Yes. All right. Yeah. All right, let me get one more. Get one. Show me how strong you are. All right. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Hey, you want to see it? You want to see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? You... yeah? I look good. <laughs> no, you don't. I don't? Man, hell no. First of all, 
Curls left a long time ago. I can't believe you're still trying to rock it. Hey, what's wrong with the curl? My mom has a curl. And my dad did too. And he even had a ducktail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back in 82. Look, listen, baby. You need to clean up the way you look. Hair, outfit. Ow, Veronica. You gotta go. Hey, what's wrong with my outfit? Look! Are you crazy? First of all, what what kind of, what is this, flamingos? Hey, these are smart birds. Yeah, they're good at the zoo, but not on you, babe. Oh my God, that really hurt. I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, hey look, listen, hey, hand me a phone, man. Is this a Blackberry? What is this, 2007? Hey, it works. I get all my emails. Every, <laughs> every last one of them. That's not the point. I'm pretty sure it'd take you 15 years to type them, too. Oh, all right, look. Damn. I'm putting my girl Joyce's number in your phone. Tell her that I said to make you a new man, okay? And I promise Jessica will notice you. Oh, she'll notice me? Yes. I'm gonna call her after work. <laughs> yeah, you do that. On second thought, I think I'm gonna call her now. <laughs> hey, 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 hold up. After work. Okay, after work. After work. Hey, hey, Tony. Oh. <clears throat> hey, Jessica. <laughs> I mean, hey, Jessica. What was that about? <laughs> Jessica, now you know he's feeling him some you. He's really. Well, you know what? I have a lot going on right now, and a man is just not something I'm willing to add at the moment. You need to find some love so that you could stop being so damn bitter and mean during these holidays. I am not mean. Mm. I just don't allow people to just you know, take over my life and just let me down when they get there. So you let them down first? Exactly. And that's just sad. <laughs> Whatever. You'll understand one day. What's this? Tony says some old lady dropped it off yesterday. Really? Oh, look, there's a note. Let me see. Here is a bottle of wine. I want to apologize for my behavior yesterday. It was out of line and unprofessional. I hope you accept my apology. Happy holidays. P.S. Santa represents the joy that one brings during this time of year. Sincerely, Miss Jefferson. Oh, that was so sweet of Mrs. Jefferson. Whatever. Even you can't deny a sweet gesture, of Mrs. Blue. Whatever. Now, let's go on and let's pop this bottle out. Right? No, 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 put that back. Thank you, we have work to do, all right? Hop to it. And she still ain't getting damn long. That's sad, girl. You know that, right? Whatever. Who is it? Tony. Tony? Hey. Tony, what do you want? I I'm a little occupied at the moment. I just came to bring you some cookies. <laughs> why are you baking cookies this late? And what, why are you dressed like that? Well, well, baking puts me in the Christmas spirit. Don't start with that Christmas mess, right? Oh yeah, I forgot. You're a Scrooge. I'm not a Scrooge. I just don't like the holidays. Well, well why not, Jessica? Bye, Tony. Is everything okay? Oh, you weren't lying. Hmm? Here, I hope you enjoy the cookies. See you later. Why did you do that? Looking like a damsel in distress, so I just thought I'd help. But I didn't ask you. But baby, I'm Baby? Oh, whoa, whoa, there is no titles on what we got going on here. <laughs> it's too soon to be catching feelings, bruh. So we just sexing? What if I want more? Well, that's all I have to offer at the moment. Huh. That's sad because I thought you had more. I guess my job here is done. I'm gonna go get my things.
No, I could have went for another round, but if you're not feeling it, I understand. Mm. Damn, this is good. Alexa, turn on the radio. You say fuck that rose, know you had a mm. long day. Baby, we can grab this body. You have to be miserable on the inside to be like this. You know how it is. In the sheets, sex, love, in the sea, for play, ecstasy, sex, love, in the sea. We've been texting for a minute. Every time I think about you, I just keep seeing this image. I took you on a date. I kept your whole attention. She know I'm good with words, so she sit back and she listen. I'm tripping, just sipping. You ever had some Henny? And she replied, nah, you like it straight or do you mix it? Just pull up to the spot. I'm out your big chilling. You ain't got to bring your prayers. I take care of the chicken. Your man, he been missing. She not just trying to kick her to the Uh, um... How did you get in my house? The door is open. Okay, how can I help you? Hey, Auntie. Hey, hey. who Auntie? Mine. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. excuse me, little, little lady. What, what are you doing? I'm looking around. Why? My mama told me this is where I'll be staying for a while. Wait, you stay? Your, your mama? You know what? I'm, I think you knocked on the wrong door, baby. Let me help you find your mom and... <laughs> I hope this helps. Dear Big Sis, I know you probably still pissed at me since I haven't talked to you in seven years, but I am in a bad space right now. I'm trying to shake this habit, but I just can't do it alone. I'm going to rehab for a few months to get myself together. Please, watch over your niece. You're the only person that I trust. With my daughter. Love, Tierra. I don't hear from you in seven years. And you dropped this on me? I should have got the time to do this. Hold, please. You have reached the voicemail of Tierra. I can't get to my phone right now. Leave a message. You never answered the phone. So, where am I to be sleeping? You're wasting a long trip here. Oh, who said you're staying, baby? My mama, so you gonna put your own niece out when no one is staying? I don't like you. You can stay until I find your mother. <laughs> Good luck. I'm Gabriella, by the way. Mama calls me Gabby for short. You know, you sure are a little grown something, aren't you? Er, no. I'm just seven. Mm hmm. All right, just seven. Here's your blanket. I'll get you some rest. We'll figure all this out in the morning. This blanket stank. Not the flavor, girl. Like. Mm -hmm. All right, now you just sit right there and be quiet. All right, I have a lot of work to get done, and you're technically not supposed to be here. Okay, I'll be quiet as a mouse. Yeah, an invisible mouse. Wait, 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 you got a phone? Does it everyone? Do you have your mother's number? Yes, but she told me that to call her, she'll come get me when it's time. What kind of game is she playing? Girl, give me your phone. She's really not going to have fun. Just, just sit over there, listen to your music, and be quiet, okay? Hey, Jessica, we have ourselves a busy day. Oh, you are finally getting in the Christmas spirit. You didn't got yourself a little orphan. Hi, I'm Veronica. I'm your sponsor's friend. Nice to meet you. Why are you yelling at me? Oh my. This is my niece Gabby. Or Gabrielle, excuse me. You can call me Gabby. Oh, wait, I didn't know you had a niece. Yeah, I've had one for about seven years now. Oh, oh 
okay. Well, that is so cool of you to be taking care of her for the holidays. Yeah, you know, my sister's out of town on business, so I told her I'd keep her. That is what I call getting into the Christmas spirit. Get your ass off of me. Girl, we're working. But what were you saying about today? Oh, there goes Miss Scrooge. We only have a few appointments coming in today. Good, because I, I need to take her to... What? Um, nothing. You know, we're going to hang out. Oh. Mm -hmm. Can we go see the lights? No. Don't be like that. Take that baby to go see them light. How about you get you some business, all right? Find some work to do uh, for a change. All right. Knock, knock. How may I help you? I'm here to see Miss Jessica. Uh, do you have an appointment, sir? I got it. Are you sure? Yes, could you just go reply to some emails or something? Um, uh, take Abby to get a snack, please. You good. Just do what I ask, please. All right. Come on, Gabby. Let's go. And, um, Veronica, close the door behind you, please. See you doing big things. TJ, what do you need? May I sit down? What's up with all the hostility? Because I can't believe you would show up here. This is a place where I get money, right? It's the place where people get money. I don't know about you. Well, I do. I don't know how. Well, let me refresh your memory. Remember when your sister, old old boy, got 30K, had to go to the bank to get it? And when it was time for the bank's audit, she couldn't repay the debt? Who took care of that for you? But I paid you back with interest. I never said your debt was cleared. How is it not? I paid you back $30,000 and six. How more do you want from me? Seventy more. Seventy more what? Dollars? Oh, say less. Let me get you. Seventy more thousand dollars. The hell do you need with seventy thousand dollars? Not that it's any of your business, but let's just say I made a bad business deal, and I need to be cool. <laughs> so because you made a bad business deal, I'm supposed to risk my job to help you out? Yep. And I need the money by Christmas. Christmas? Are you crazy? I need the money by Christmas. Come on, Gary. You okay? Yeah. Who was that? Just an old friend. Do you need me to do anything? No, it's, it's all good. Well, is he single? What? I'm fine. Girl, never mind. Our next client's here. Um, I think your next appointment should be here by now. Good. Can you please go check and see? Now? Yeah, sure. Auntie, you know lives I don't like. Little girl, will you mind your damn business, all right? You have a potty mouth. I know you on Santa's naughty list. Come in. Miss Preston, the Allens are here to see you. Thank you, Veronica. Hello. Hi, how are you guys doing? Have a seat, please. Well, how are you? Doing good. Thanks for asking. Can I get you anything to drink? Oh, no, no. thanks. We're not, we're not thirsty. So, how can I help? Well... We're having a baby. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. And look, we just think it's time for us to get out of this apartment and get ourselves a home. Yeah. So will this be your first home? Oh, yes. Our, our first home and also our first baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Josh, I see you worked in the bakery for a little over three years, making um, 30000 a year. Well, well actually, it's 35000 
here. Mm -hmm. um, but they cut my hours, you know, sometimes, but it's definitely stable, I swear. Okay. And what about you? Well, I go to school. So you don't work? I do, but it's, it's part-time. So how do you plan to pay for the house? Well, well I can afford uh, the house we found. I mean, it's perfect for me, my wife, and my first child. <laughs> I see. Well, this house, that $200,000, I just... <clears throat> it's not COVID. I just had something in my throat. Carry on. Um, as I was saying, it... <sighs> I'm sorry. Is it cold in here to you? No. Felt no, a chill all the time. Y'all just feel anything? Come to me. You, you okay? I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> um. No, I'm I'm, I'm good. Uh, what, I, what was I saying? Uh, oh yes. So you're alone. I um. You know what? I'm gonna approve the loan for your house. Oh, serious? <laughs> wow. That's amazing! Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't know what this means to us. You're, you're so welcome. My assistant, Veronica, will actually assist you with getting the paperwork in order and let you know about next steps. Before she changes her mind, okay. go on, You're welcome. Take care. We gotta check and see if C is broke or something. Hey, V, you can cancel all my appointments for the rest of the day. I'm about to head out. Oh, take her to go see the Christmas lights and get her a Christmas tree. A Christmas tree? That's what your house is missing. Can we? Can we? Thanks a lot, Veronica. Anytime, boss. Anytime. Y'all have fun. Mm. So about the Christmas tree. Let's go. Come on. What's your name? Gabby, what's yours? Terrence. Hey, Terrence. Want me to give you a push? No, thanks, I got it. You mind if I sit here? It's a free country. <laughs> Is somebody in a bad mood today? I'm sorry. I just got that on my mind, that's all. T, be careful. These kids are so rough these days. Hmm. Ain't got a smart mouth, too. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm sorry, where's my manners? My name is Jason. Hi, Jason. I'm Jessica. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I've never seen you here before. You must be new to the neighborhood. No, I've been here for a few years. Just never really had a reason to come watch the kids until now. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, I normally come here like two or three times a week. So you ready for Christmas? Oh, I don't believe in Christmas. Oh, because of your religion? I don't have one of those either. So you just naturally don't celebrate Christmas? Damn you nosy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, just, I don't see how people don't celebrate the most wonderful time of the year. And who deemed it wonderful? I mean, it's wonderful because families get to spend time together, give gifts from the heart. And the most important, you know, we celebrate that Christ is born. You know, I never understood why they associated the birth of Christ with a fat white man named Sam. I mean, make it make sense. Right, right. <laughs> I used to feel the same, you know, until I grew up. Wait, you, wait, you don't even know me to be calling me childish, sir. But I never said that. I'm just saying, when I grew up, I realized that Santa was just a figment of our imagination. You know, I think I've heard that before. Mm. See? Somebody else besides me give you words of wisdom. <laughs> you think you're real smart, right? I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. Lord, these kids. Ouch! Let me see. It hurts. Let me see. Don't touch it. Stop being a little wuss. How you gonna tell me? Wait, I don't.
don't feel anymore. I know. You alright? See, that's why I told you I want you swinging so high. Daddy, I'm okay. Gabby, help me. Gabby, baby, are you okay? I'm okay, Auntie. Auntie, I thought this was your daughter. I see someone wasn't listening. Daddy, can they come over so I can tell Gabby? Wait, what? Uh, I don't know about please, that, son. Please, Daddy. Please, Auntie. I'm up to it if they up to it. I mean, I, I guess. Uh, <laughs> let me put my address in phone. So are you okay? Yes. Oh. I'll put my number there also. Okay, got it. Um, I'm gonna get her home and get her cleaned up. That way we can head on over. Okay, Um, so let's say about six o'clock. I tell you what, I'll cook a little something for my guests. Oh, don't go out your way on my account. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's all for Gabby. Are you smelling again? Girl, mind your business. I think you might. I think you might. Are you okay? Hey, hey. Let them niggas know you all business. You're yeah, Bunny and Clyde vibe. Me and Bay, we on a mission. Low key behind ten just to avoid attention. You see, I took her from a square. She used to teach her Griffin. Wait a minute. What? I thought we were just going over there so I can play. Why are you dressed like you going on a date? Uh, excuse me, no, I'm not. Auntie, if you like a man, just say that. Look, girl, I don't know what you're talking about, okay? How I look? <clears throat> And you look locked. Thank you, baby. All right, I'm going to go grab my keys and... What? Nothing. Mm, I got to watch you. Dad, what are you doing? What you mean? And hey, why are you eating that cookie before dinner? I'm really hungry, Dad. Why are you doing all of this? Well, aren't you about to have some company? I thought I was, but it looks like you're a little too excited. Hush, T. All right, now you're supposed to be making sure everything is together when you're having company. But, Dad. <sighs> Look, son. I know things been a little different since Mommy been gone. Daddy gotta move on. Why now? I'm not saying I'm moving on now, but I don't want to miss an opportunity. Don't you want your daddy happy? Yeah, but what about being just us guys? Oh, okay, so you, you want me to be single all my life. So that means you're going to have to take care of me when I get older. I mean, I will. You say that now. All right, that's them. You good? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. My man. Come on. Hey, Gary. Hey, T. I got a new BS5. Have you ever seen one of those? Now you know. I've seen a million of those. Now that's true. Yo, Terrence. You should keep that door open now. <laughs> He is so cute. These kids now, they just say whatever's on their mind. Mm -hmm. They're right. I think my auntie likes your daddy. I think he likes her too. How do you feel about that? I don't know. They'll just been us guys. I know the feeling. That's how it was for me and my mom. Uh, do you want some milk and cookies? Oh, no thank you. But yeah, you're right. Kids these days are too grown. Man. Oh, hey, let me get your coat right here. Oh, thank you. No problem. Oh, okay. What? Uh, you look nice. <laughs> Thank you. Is is it too much? Oh no, 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 no. no. Uh, you're welcome. You have a beautiful home. Oh, thank you. Show the one one. Really good. Especially with me. <laughs> I mean milk. Um, what's the weight on your pasta that you've been talking about? Can I 
Taste test it. Uh, didn't I say no no cookies until dinner? I'm getting one for Gabby. She hasn't had any since you've been here. Oh. Can I? Just one. I don't want you to ruin your appetite. Okay. See what I mean? <clears throat> Too grown. <laughs> so you ain't got no milk and cookies at home for Santa? I don't like sweets like that, to be honest. And Santa, he's not swinging by my house. <laughs> well, at least get some for Gabby. I will. Oh. So you ready to taste my famous pasta? Oh yes, let's do this. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't you go grab a seat and I'll make your plate. All right, this way? Uh-huh, right this way. <laughs> go ahead and make yourself comfortable. You know, I don't know too many men that know how to cook. Well, I was raised by my grandmother, so I didn't really have a choice. <laughs> I see. Well, I'm glad you paid attention. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Wait, wait, what you doing? I'm eating. What do you mean? I mean, we ain't say grace yet. Grace. Right. <clears throat> um. Bow your head. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this food that we're about to receive for the nourishment of our bodies. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Can I eat now? <laughs> sure. Thank you. <laughs> So what's your deal? What you mean? Are we not gonna address the elephant in the room? I didn't know there's one in here. Hmm, cute. Where is Terrence's mother? Oh, she the elephant. I mean, I'm not trying to be involved in no baby mama drama, entanglement, swingers club, y'all can have all of that. Wait, what? <laughs> Look, anything goes nowadays. You're right. But uh, nah, that's not the case. So what is it? His mom died in a car accident a few years ago. So sorry to hear that. We actually were just talking about it before you came. That's gotta be rough. It's life. We live and we die. True, but it's a loss that affects your day to day, especially for Terrence. I agree. What about you? What about me? Why are you single? <laughs> you know, I've been asking myself that question for a very long time. <laughs> but I think it's just, I haven't found the one. Wait, so are you the type that have a list way down the street of what you're looking for in a man? Maybe. Uh, Maybe not. See? Getting information from you is like pulling teeth. <laughs> Maybe that's why you're single. Well, damn. <laughs> like, I didn't mean no harm. It's like you got your walls up. I do. I have to guard what's already been broken. You know, it took me a while as well to get my walls down once his mom died. I understand. It takes time. Wait, so how'd you end up with Gabby during the holiday that every kid loves and you hate? Well, see, Gabby, um, I'll be honest. I just met her a few days ago. Really? <laughs> yeah. You know, my... My dad left, my mom, and my sister really lost her way after that. She ended up on drugs, and here we are seven years later, she's in rehab, and I'm taking care of a niece that I just found out I had. Man, that's tough. <laughs> Tell me about it. You know, she got caught up in some mess about 10 years ago with this guy, and I had to bail her out. And then she just turned right back around and went right back to him. Wow. After that, I determined that I had to get away. Wait, so how'd you end up with Gabby? And believe it or not, I woke up at midnight to her on my doorstep holding a letter from my sister. You know she just dropped her off without even saying hello? Jeez. <sighs> yeah. But you know, I will say this. Ever since she's been around, I feel different different huh like I'm not alone 
That's the joy of having kids. It's like they give us joy when we don't have the desire to. You know, I never thought of it that way. Yeah. I mean, that's the only way I can even think about it. That's the only way I think I can even manage right now. Since his mom died? Yeah. I understand, you know. Death is hard. It's even harder when it's someone you truly love. You know, something about you, Jason. Can't put my finger on it. How so? You know, I don't really open up to everybody. But with you, I just feel so comfortable to do so. It's a, oh, and I've only known you for what? Not even a day? <laughs> I just feel safer. You know, sometimes it's easier to open up to people that you barely know. But that and uh, my grandma always said I was a good listener. So. True. And I'm a lover boy. A lover boy? I should say. Mm. And I'm easy on the eye. Oh, you just really feeling yourself tonight, huh? <laughs> can't help it. And it's stuff about how good you look when I took the jacket off. Mm. And on that note, that's my cue. Gabby! Gabby! Let's go, baby. Nisi Pooh! It's time to go. Hello? You know, I'm not really a texter. Nice to know. But uh, I had a good time with you as well. Yeah. I should have brought some of that food home. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's a go play. Yep. <laughs> Did Gabby sleep? Yeah. You know I had to carry her buddy in. And she is no lightweight, let me tell you. <laughs> I bet. So uh, I was thinking, this is a nice spot that uh, I would love to take you to. My homeboy sings there, and uh, I think it'd be nice. <laughs> okay. So let me let me think about it. Wait, what about the kids? Oh, I have a nanny that watches uh, Terrence. I'm sure she wouldn't mind watching Gabby as well. Mm hmm. You sure, it's not one of your little girlfriends. <laughs> now, what woman you know that's gonna watch her man's son while he go on a date with another woman? Touche. <laughs> it is a little far-fetched. Right. But I'm sure there's some out there. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> so, it's a date? Yeah, it's a date. Great. Um, you can come over tomorrow. I'll have my nanny come over at 7.30 and you bring Gabby around 8. Okay, sounds good. Well, I'm, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and get to sleep. It's been a long day. Yeah, I'm tired as well. So, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow night. Good night. Good night. that you do? I'm in the gift giving business. Gift giving business? Yeah. It's hard to explain. Well, it ain't nothing illegal now, is it? Oh, no, nah, absolutely not. Um, we bring joy to all the boys and girls all over the world. So you make what, like games or something? Yeah, you say that. <laughs> but enough about me. What do you do? Well, I'm a loan officer. Oh, really? Mm hmm Hmm. No, this gotta be hard on me. What do you mean? Well, I know that you would like to get people loans that don't really qualify. Not exactly. <laughs> I'm the opposite, honestly. You have to overqualify for me to give you a loan. 
But you know, yesterday was weird. Why you say that? Well, there was this couple that came in that barely qualified and something just told me to give it to them. It's the strangest thing. Hmm. What's funny? I just love the spirit of Christmas. That ain't got nothing to do with what I just said. You sure? I'm positive. Hey, Jessica, right? Yeah. How are you? We doing good. <laughs> and Jason, hey, good to see you again. And how is Terrence? Terrence is bad. <laughs> okay. But he's doing great. Well, be sure to tell him I said hi, okay? Will do. All right, well. Let me get to my table and let y'all do y'all little date thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, Jessica. You're welcome. Yeah. Everybody doing nice. Something to tell you Got a pretty shiny box for you
I think you'll be okay here too. Auntie? Yes? Can I ask you a question? Yeah, go ahead. What, what did happen between you and my mom? Come on. Me and your mom haven't talked in a while. Why not? You're all sisters. Yes, but sometimes sisters fight and it's easier to not forgive. But kids are taught to forgive, but grown-ups can't. Yeah, we can. But baby, sometimes it's just harder to let go. But if you love each other, that'll make things easier. Auntie? Auntie, hello? Oh, yes, Gabby. I was trying to call your name. You weren't my response. I was getting scared. So what happened? You know, baby, sometimes to win, you have to lose. But I thought life was about loving people in spite of. Are you preaching to me, ma'am? No, I just, I just wish I would have known you before. Now I lost the opportunity because y'all two can figure it out. Well, you know what, baby? You're right. You know what? I'm going to fix it. You promise? I promise. Thank you, Father. Okay. Let's go back to school. Oh. <laughs> it was nice. I hope Mommy and Daddy like it. They will. They always do. Did you finish the cookies for Santa? Yep. I put them right there. You ate one, didn't you? How'd you know? Because you're always eating them. I brought you one. Thanks, sis. You're always looking out for me. I love you. What's wrong, Mama? You girls, we need to talk. Why don't you come have a seat? And where's Dad? I want to know what he thinks of the tree. Well, baby, that's what we need to talk about. What, Mama? Your dad is gone. Well, when is he coming back? Baby, he's not. What do you mean he's not coming back? Did Daddy die, Mama? No. Your dad didn't die. He just decided that he didn't want this family anymore. So he left us? Just like that? I hate him. I hate Christmas. Wait just a minute. Why don't Daddy love us anymore? I can't answer that question, because I just don't know. <laughs> We're going to be OK, I promise. We're going to be OK. Come on, we need to go check on your sister. I'm gonna need some real strength for this one. I 
I can't believe Daddy would do us like this on Christmas. But Jay, we still got each other. Jessica! He's out of my life and so is Christmas! Mom! Baby, come here. It's gonna be okay. Let me go check on Jessica, okay? Jessica? Okay, so we can go for ice cream, but only if you church my squad. Remember? Invisible. I don't need to see you. Okay, all right. Hey, girl. Mike is on his way to come see you. Come on, Gabby. Let's go. Come in. Oh, since when do you start knocking? Hey, I heard you wanted to see me. I did. What's up? No, we didn't talk since we last went out. Mike, that was several years ago. We've seen each other literally every day since then. And now you're just now saying something. Yeah, just thought I'd let you know it wasn't what you thought. It's cool. Now you are free to date whoever you want to. No judgment here. I know. So that's what you wanted to see me about? No. But, um, who's the little girl you've been having in your office here lately? That's my niece, Gabrielle. Mm. Well, you know she can't be here. It's a company policy. Look, Mike, in all honesty, my sister dropped her off on me a few weeks ago. I don't have anywhere else to take her. I don't know what to tell you. She can't be here. I understand that, but she's not hurting anyone, and she stays in my office, and it's not even affecting my work. Hey, like I said, it's company policy. Well, where is it in this company policy? Because I couldn't find it. You know, it's like one of those unwritten rules. So like I said, after today, you need to find some care for her. I don't know where to start. Well, you can check the other pages. Got it. Is there anything else? You know what? Some guy named TJ had called. Said he knew something about some embezzlement. Is Veronica still in? Oh, no, no, I very seriously doubt that. Did you call him back? I did, and he didn't pick up. Well, then maybe it's just someone playing. Uh-uh. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to look into it. And if somebody stealing from me, I have to go. You mean as in fire, though? Yes, fire. And possibly some jail time. Well, you better look into it. Let me know what you find out. I will. Anything else? You have a good day. You as well. And don't forget, you need to find some care for the little girl. Got it. Everything okay? Yeah, everything's good. Well, what did he want? Putting it on now. He wanted to talk to me about childcare. <sighs> yeah, I kind of figured that, but she's so precious and she really isn't hurting anyone. I know. You know, he said something about it's a company policy, but I don't remember seeing it. Yeah, it is kind of like an unwritten rule. Yeah, you said that. Well, I can look into some daycares and see what it is that we can do. Oh, that would be great. Maybe you can look into some like camps or something since they're on break. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot about that. Yeah, I'll look at some of those too. Let me get on that for you. Thanks a lot, B. No problem, girl, you know I got you. Hey, what are you over there watching? A Charlie Brown Christmas. Ooh, that was one of my favorites growing up. I didn't know I'd been out that long. What are you trying to say? I mean, it had to be in 1960. 1960? Yeah, you're old. You tried it? I'm just 30. I wouldn't even thought of back in 1960, thank you. Best believe me, honey, you were thought of. 
girl, watch a movie. You're missing a good part. Girl, you know how to work my nerve. <laughs> Ooh, bless it. This is Jessica. I want to make sure I made myself clear. TJ, I, I can't do that. I will lose my job. So you got to Christmas. To have my money. TJ. TJ! Yeah. You didn't say much anything. You look all tense. I said I'm fine. Come on, babe. Let's get in the Christmas spirit. Quit that. See? Now I know it's something. Talk to me. Why are you here? You said you don't want to be alone today. No. Why are you in my life? I'm lost. Where's all this coming from? You lost. Okay, great. Don't worry about it. Nah. You got someone in your heart you need to speak it. You know, shit just always happens around the holidays. One minute things are going great and then pow! Shit happens. And you're just left alone in it. But that's not my intention. And why should I believe anything that's coming out of your mouth right now? My word is all I have. What about experiences? Why can't we go off that? But your experiences are not mine. And vice versa. Jess, I didn't create this pain that you're in. Maybe I'm here to help you through it. This is why I hate Christmas. My emotions and anxiety are all over the place. There's really nothing joyous about the occasion. And then people just come in and out of your life with no explanation. Babe, how about we... Get your damn hands off me! Jessica. You know what? Let's just end this right now, okay? It's nice knowing you, Jason. Wait a minute. What did you do to Jace? Little girl, who are you hollering at? You, you always push your people away. You know what, I'm not doing this with you right now. You know what, you too damn grown for your own good. You know what, I seen pain in my mom's eyes before and right now I'm seeing it right in yours. You know what, you don't even know what you're talking about. Why, cause I'm a kid? Don't be mad at the messenger. You know what, I'm done. I can't do this right now, I'm tired of you. I was better off being by myself. I'm calling CPS first thing tomorrow. CPS, what's that? Child Protective Services, since you think you know everything. My mom left me with somebody that she trusted and loved. You can't be the person she was talking about. And where's your mother now, Gabrielle? Hmm? She left you, just like our father left us. She's no better than he is. What? The, go to bed. No. Nobody can love you because you don't even love yourself. Go. To bed. We're done. Jessica. Oh, Jessica. Gabby, you call me? Gabby. Mrs. Jefferson? Why are you dressed like that? Well, how the hell you get in my house? You know what? You picked the right house for that girl, because I got the... Mrs. Jefferson? Where did my tree go? Where's my picker? Where is she? G Gabby? Gabby! Gabby, I'm sorry. I didn't mean what I said, okay? You can stay. Gabby, stop playing now. Hello? 
Hello? Hello? Hello, Tierra? Who is this? It's Jessica. Is, is this Tierra? Tierra, I've, I've been calling you for weeks. I, I've had this phone number for long and I haven't seen a call from you. That, that can't be true. I've been calling this number. Jessica, are you okay? Okay, but well, I have something to tell you. It, it's Gabby. Who? Gabby. Gabrielle? Oh, okay. What about her? Okay, so, um... TJ came by my... Sis, that, that stuff was behind me. And, and I know. I messed up in the past, but I'm done with that. Trust me. No, no. TJ came by my office the other day and, and asked me for some more money. And now he's taking Gabby. Took who? Gabby! Gabrielle! Sis, I I'm trying to figure out who the hell is Gabby. Gabrielle? And how TJ has anything to do with her. He's been dead for five years. I'm talking about your daughter. Just, I, I don't have a daughter. You, you didn't drop Gabby off on the doorstep with, with the note talking about you were off to rehab? And, wait, wait, did you just say TJ is dead? <laughs> I've been sober for seven years now. I haven't had any drugs or alcohol. And yes, TJ is dead. I went to his funeral to get closure. And it was him in the casket. No, you gotta believe me. A little grandma named Gabby was dropped off at my door. She had a note with your number on it. Said that you were going to rehab it. And TJ, he came to my office. What I'm telling you is true, Tierra. Uh, uh, are you sure you're not on something? I mean, you don't have to make a, a story to call. You walked away, I didn't. Look, I, I'm not making this back. Every Everything I'm telling you is true. I, I promise I'm not going crazy. You gotta believe me, too. Look, I don't have any kids, and TJ is dead. Granted, I've been wanting to talk to you since you dropped me off. But this is not what I was hoping for. I gotta get back to work. Goodbye. Wait, wait, wait. How have you been? I can't complain. I've been working at this hospital since I've been sober. Been in school for the last three years, and I'm I'm almost finished. Really? <laughs> yes, really. How about you? Since I'm lonely, I've been missing you, Jess. I miss you too, dear. Hey, uh, what do you have planned for Christmas? I don't have any plans. <laughs> do you want to spend it with me? Yes, I would love that. <laughs> Great. Um, I'll text you my address. You just don't know how much this means to me. I can't wait to see you. See you tomorrow? Tomorrow? <laughs> Jessica, you sure you're not on something? Christmas is in two weeks. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'll see you in three weeks. Love you. I love you too. <laughs> I've been praying so long. This morning. Girl, I thought you were my sister. Oh no, girl, it's just me. Mm. Wait, 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 where are the drinks you were supposed to bring? You said bring drinks, but you didn't say bring everybody drinks, so I bought me one. I can't believe you. You know, what, what sense does that make? Why would I only ask you to bring? All right, so, are you nervous? I think she's here. <gasps> okay, how look? You look cute. Uh, okay. Yes, girl, you look good, you look good. You look good. Tierra, Jessica. <laughs> oh my God, girl, you look so good. <laughs> so do you. I can't believe the moment is finally here. I know. Come in, come in, come in. Oh, where are my manners? Tierra, this is my best friend Veronica, and Veronica, this is my sister. It is so nice to meet you. Um. 
Give me a second with it. Oh yeah, no problem. Thanks. I'm gonna check and see if my surprise is here. Surprise. Come sit down, sit down. Look sis, I wanna apologize for turning my back on you. Jessica, to be honest, even though it was painful, it was what I needed to get myself together. I truly lost my way. Me too. I mentally just shut myself in a dark room and didn't let anyone in. And here I am thinking you had everything together. <laughs> it would have been so much better if we could have stayed close. I know. You know, I shouldn't have left the way I did, sis. I'm so sorry. Maybe it was for the best. Mm -hmm. It forced me to look within and make changes to my life. And I feel so good. <laughs> Girl, I can see it. it's all over you. I'm just so glad you're back in my life. I'm glad you're back in my life. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got a surprise for you. What kind of surprise you got? You know, we just gonna sit these right on out here for Santa. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you ate one, didn't you? How you know? Because you always eat them. You don't know my story, girl. <laughs> Give, Give me try one. It. Try it. Give me one. Knock, knock, ladies. Is that Tony? Yes, it is. This is your surprise? Yeah, we talked about a few things before you left. Right? You look good. <laughs> Thank you. Can we talk? Sure. Thanks, Jess. Look, Jess, you're a very beautiful lady, and I would love the opportunity to, you know. Opportunity to what? Well, to get to know you outside of work. You know, uh, that is why I left. What do you mean you left? Well, you said you don't do work romances. Wait, you quit your job for me? Yes. I truly believe that God made you for me. And I'm ready for the fun times and great memories that we're gonna create together. Fun times and great memories? Yeah. Well, I don't know about all that. I, I can't make any promises, but we can go on a date and see where it goes. But you did find another job, right? Of course. I did that before I quit. Okay, just checking, because I wasn't paying. <laughs> Let's go. Let's <laughs> go. Mm. Y'all are so cute. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just a, I'm just a big old cry baby. I see. <laughs> Let me say grace. <laughs> what? I'm a changed woman. Bow your heads, please. Dear Heavenly Father, I just I want to thank you for this day, for this food, and for this time to fellowship. But I want to thank you for restoration and new beginnings this holiday season. Santa is whomever brings you joy. In Jesus' name, thank you. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. What was that? That was our Santa. Amen. Let's dig in, y'all. I slaved all day on Uber Eats for this. Come on. It's the holidays, time to celebrate with my friends and family. Who mean everything to me. It's my favorite time of year. It's the holidays, time to celebrate. This joy all inside me Don't know why But there's something above Having all of this love All around me Put that star on the tree Socks on our feet As we dance to our favorite music That food on our plate Smiles on our face This moment I don't want